This is the story of Susie. Susie believed in Jesus, and Jesus is the light of the world. Before each meal, Susie would thank Jesus for the food someone else planted, cultivated, bred, harvested, slaughtered, canned, prepared, cooked, and presented. No food would be eaten until it was properly blessed. Before bedtime, Susie would pray for Jesus to heal the sick, comfort the afflicted, and ease the suffering in the world. Of course, when Susie awoke, the world's problems were still there. But somehow, it was all part of God's divine plan. When Susie got sick, she prayed for healing. Then she paid a doctor, took prescription medication, and took weeks to recover naturally. When Susie was confused, she prayed for answers. When her ears picked up no audible reply, she simply guessed and called it divine inspiration. When Susie's mother was in a car accident, Susie thanked God that Mum was only horribly injured and not killed immediately. Susie then prayed to Jesus for healing, and then she paid thousands of dollars to trained medical personnel. When Susie's mother died due to complications, Susie buried her at considerable expense amidst the grieving of loved ones. And Susie gave thanks that Mum was with the angels. Susie went to church, thanking Jesus for being so good. When the pastor was suddenly gunned down by a crazed madman during a sermon about divine protection, Susie was horrified, so she prayed a prayer of thanks. The pastor was in a better place. She also prayed for the widow and children, that they would see that it's all part of God's special plan for their lives. When hurricanes came, Susie prayed and thanked Jesus that only a few thousand were homeless and only a few billion dollars in damage was done. When Susie heard about millions worldwide afflicted with all manner of diseases, she prayed and asked Jesus that a vaccine might be found in somebody's laboratory. After all, it made sense that doctors should do the actual healing. God was busy making the world wonderful. When millions died from starvation and genocide, Susie wore a special button that showed how much she cared. Susie prayed fervently that Jesus would feed the hungry, comfort the sick, and uplift the downtrodden. Then she went home and watched American Idol. Yes, in every neighborhood, in every city, in every state, in every country, across the planet, Susie saw the omnipotent hand and never-failing love of God. And once again, just before bedtime, Susie closed her eyes and said her prayers because she believed in Jesus. And Jesus is the light of the world.